how to cite websites and sources found on the internet. For the author section, if you're citing an entire website, the formatting for the author is mostly the same. The authors will be the individuals or organizations that are responsible for the work. Sometimes this can be an alias or screen name. In most cases, you're actually going to be citing a particular article or web page on a website instead of the whole website. For that, you want to use the author of that specific page in the author section, if there is one identified. If there's no author, or if the author is also the publisher of the website, then you can skip the author section and just move on to the title element. For the title of the source section, use the title of the web page, video, or article if that's what you're citing. This will be presented in quotation marks. Usually, the title of the web page or article appears in a header at the top of the page, but you can also hover over the tab at the top to see the full title of the web page if you need to. If you're citing an entire website, then move on to the title of the container section. The title of the container is the name of the website where you found your information. This is presented in italics. And the publisher element is the name of the person or organization that's responsible for publishing the entire website. Sometimes the name of the publisher is the same as the title of the website. If this happens, you only need to list the name once. The publisher name is usually listed at the bottom of the website. For publication date, you want to use the date the specific thing that you are citing was published, if it's available. You may have to look around the web page to locate this date. It can be next to the title or the author information, or it may be at the header or the footer of the page. The location is the last part of the citation. This is the URL of the website you are citing. Just remove the HTTP colon backslash backslash or the HTTPS from the website and end the citation with a period. Some websites have multiple containers. If your source is part of a website that's a platform for multiple sources from a variety of creators and publishers, then you want to include information about that platform. To do this, add a second container section. For example, a video on YouTube can have an individual creator that is presented on a larger YouTube channel. The creator is the author, the channel is the first container, and YouTube is the second container. Here's an example of where to find that information on a website. Click on the icons to see the pieces you need and where they fit in an MLA citation.